फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल लर्न विद गिग्स इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस विद यू वन सिनेरियो बेस्ड ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन व्हिच वाज रिसेंटली आस्क्ड इन द पावर बीए इंटरव्यू एट टीसीएस एंड दिस सिनेरियो वाज प्रोवाइडेड टू मी बाय वन ऑफ माय लिंक्डइन कनेक्शंस हु बेसिकली शेयर्ड दिस सिनेरियो वाय ईमेल एंड सिंस दिस सिनेरियो कैन बी इजीली आस्क्ड इन योर डेटा एनालिस्ट ऑफ पावर बीए इंटरव्यूज टू सो दैट्स आई एम क्रिएटिंग दिस वीडियो सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो एंड बिफोर दैट इफ यू न्यू टू द चैनल देन डू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल फॉर मोर यूजफुल वीडियोस लाइक दिस एंड आल्सो यू कैन फॉलो माय इंस्टाग्राम पेज लर्न विद गिग्स फॉर रेगुलर जॉब रिलेटेड अपडेट्स प्लस शॉर्ट वीडियोस ऑन डेटा एनालिटिक्स टू मी एंड फ्रेंड्स इफ यू वांट टू लर्न द डेटा एनालिस्ट स्किल्स व्हिच इंक्लूड्स एक्सेल एसक्यूएल पावर बीआई पाइथन एज़ वेल एज़ टैब्लू देन आई वुड रिकमेंड यू टू गो फॉर कोड बेसिक्स डेटा एनालिस्ट बूटकैम्प 3.0 and you can become an ai enabled data analyst which is the demand of the market the bootcamp price is very affordable as it costs rupees 8400 at the same time the quality of the content is very good that i can assure you of this is how your learning journey will look like you will start with excel then you will learn power bi then sql and then python along with tableau and in parallel you will be talked about the importance of online credibility on linkedin they will help you in resume preparation they will guide you in job application strategies and also provide an interview preparation guide at the end they will also provide a virtual internship which you can also include on your resume so after 4 plus months of consistent hard work you will be job ready in the market i will provide the link of this bootcamp in the description box of this video please do check it out so here is the snapshot of the data so you can see on the screen the interviewer provided these two column which is id column and transaction date column and he wanted that the result column should be calculated via dax code okay you can see in the id column we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 you have transaction dates different dates and you can see the result is that in the second row previous row value is there in the third row this value is there is there right so previous row values has to be pulled in the result column and that is what is the ask of the interviewer how to do that in power bi using dax code so now let's see how we can do that so in power bi i have already loaded those two columns id and transaction date so now let's create a new column a new calculated column for this so i will name this column as result table okay as asked by the interviewer now whenever this kind of scenario is asked anything related to this something related to previous row is asked so the first dax function that should come into your mind is earlier dax function so we will make use of earlier dax function over here but how we have to make use of that let's understand that and before moving ahead with that let's understand what does earlier function return what is its function so you can see what does earlier function do it returns the current value of the specified column in an outer evaluation pass of the mentioned column in another words you can say earlier is used for nested calculations where you want to use a certain value as an input this is very important where you where you want to use a certain value as an input and then produce calculation based on that input and you see the last line also in dax you can store the value of the input and then make calculation using the data from the entire table so i hope you got some basic understanding of earlier function now let's see how we can use it over here so right now you can see i can't directly use earlier function it should be used under some kind of nested calculation so for that i will first make use of max x function why max x x function you can use min x function also because i have to calculate the things row by row that means in row context so that's why i have chosen one iterator function which should give me a scalar value right so that's why i have choose chosen max x function at the end i will also show you if i have chosen min x function what does the result will come out so for now i will move ahead with max x function so max x function what does it takes it takes two arguments one is the table and the other one is the expression before declaring the table argument you have to be smart over here you should not directly include a table over here because if you will do you will not be put, you will not be able to put some kind of condition on that so to put some kind of condition and and still get a table as a result set what dax function can be useful over here is filter dax function so i will make use of filter dax function filter dax function again takes two arguments one is table and the other one is expression so the table is data table that we have used over here and then the second argument is the filter expression right so here is the catch how we have to utilize the filter expression under filter function so for this i will first make use of id column here okay from data table so id column is equal to earlier dax function then earlier dax function makes use of column argument so i have to make use of column over here so which column i should use over here again id column over here okay i will close the bracket over here so 
what i have done data id is equal to earlier data id so what does earlier will do it will store the current value of the data id column so as i said in the starting you can store the value of the input and then make calculation using that data from the entire table okay so now it will store the current row value of the id so what will happen so if it goes to the first row so data id is equal to earlier data id which will be 1 for the first row it will be it will be showing the value of 1 then what should i do i should subtract 1 from here then close the bracket for filter then comma and then the expression part of max x function so what scalar value i want to have over here is i want to have date value right previous date value so i will first make use of date column sorry uh, we have a transaction date right so we'll directly make use of transaction date over here close the bracket okay so now my expression the dax code is complete now let's see how does it will evaluate so till now it was clear to you so if, if it will go to the first row so on the data id it will it will take 1 then 1 minus 1 is 0 right so in the first row 0 is returned that means nothing is written and that's why the first row should be blank because previous to this date no date is present right so that's why there should be no date in the first row now suppose we go to the second row in the second row what does it will return this will return 2 because you can see id is equal to 2 right so 2 minus 1 will be 1 so under date id equal to 1 will be there so date id 1 will be filtered out and corresponding to that what is the transaction date transaction date will be 1st of august so in the second row 1st august 2024 will be written similarly for the third fourth fifth and sixth the same kind of explanation will be there for those entries also now let's see if i press enter what does the result comes out to be whatever i explain is it coming out the same or not let's see that and here is the result you can see 1st august in the second row 6th august in the third row 14th 15th and 17th similarly so we have got the desired result so as i said in the starting what will happen if i use minx over here instead of max s let's use minx over here okay let's use that and see what does the result comes out to be i have pressed the enter now let's see what is the result again you will get the same result why because minx or max max x is just a iterator function which i am using over here to get the value in row by row format and at the end i should get a scalar value right this will return a scalar value in every row which will be actually transaction date and that's what is coming in the results table so it was a tricky question i will attach the dataset link in the comment box so you can utilize the dataset and practice yourself also so thank you so much for watching this video and share the video to all your friends and colleagues who have any need of this <laughs>